Now, see right now, there's nothing behind those lenses. There's no bulbs, there's nothing. If you can see the bulbs, you see how the lenses is going? I bought new lenses, and I bought bulbs, and I bought a harness. So I'm gonna remove the lenses, install the bulbs, install the harness, do the wiring, wire it into the headlight, what turns on the headlights. So when I turn on the headlights, lens visor will turn on at the same time. So I'm on the ladder now, and I'm gonna use a screwdriver. Ta-da! Remove this, remove the adhesive that's under here, and then we're gonna, so here's a closer look, you see? There's nothing inside here, no bulbs, nothing. And this lens is actually broken. This lens is not broken, but I'm gonna replace all of them and keep the ones that are not broken. And what I'm gonna use to unscrew, what I'm gonna use to unscrew this, the same? Yeah, this screwdriver unscrews everything. So anyway, and hopefully I can get this down without dropping it. Again, I wanna do this before it starts raining, right? It's been a rainy week. And uh, here are the screws that I gotta take out. Let's go. So here are the screws. From the visor, I got the visor out, as you can see. That's how it looks without the visor. Interesting. <laughs> but anyway, so here's the visor. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the adhesive and take you on that journey. So I laid the visor out on this table. Now, here's the last adhesive they had to in case the harness, the wiring. I'm gonna take a picture and measure, and measure it because the uh, adhesive that I'm gonna put is probably gonna be the exact same length and height. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and go from there. Wipe this down some, clean it off. So the old adhesive is uh, removed. Now it's time to put in the new stuff. Let me bring that out. I almost forgot, before uh, I bring the new stuff. I gotta remove all the old stuff. So I gotta remove the lenses again, even the ones that are in fair shape. I'm gonna replace what I'm gonna keep. Actually, I wanna scratch on it. Remove the lenses, then I'll bring in the new stuff. So all the lenses are removed. They're over there. This damn Ziploc is starting to be my favorite tool. Keeps things in a nice, neat pile, right? And they were really dirty. And brittle like two of them just like when I when I pulled them out two of them just cracked they were done so it was definitely time out with the old and with the new again when you're dealing with plastic parts on an old vehicle just be careful so here's what I'm working with the new supplies is here now I got to come up with a plan to be honest with you I don't know what the plan is what to install first so I'm thinking one at a time, right? So maybe install one bulb and then connect that bulb to what I'm going to install. But the thing is, oh, I'm beginning to get it now. Yeah. Okay, so install two of these over there, then install one three inch over here and I'm per this is the driver's side, right? Yeah, this is the driver's side, so this is going to run because huh, all the wires that are in there are not going to run it, right? It's going to run to the driver's side, so I'm going to need two, two of these here and then install a three and a half right here and then run the wires through here, right? That's the plan. So... I got the wires in this one. What you do is, you see how, hold on, da, 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 you see how it's connected? Okay, okay, okay. You, know, you see how it's connected right there? You just push that in and you can pop this open. When you pop it open, you can run the wires down in here and then you're good. Both, they pre-cut 16 and 3 fourths, so I don't have to cut them, I only have to cut one if you want a better fit like I can put these here 16 3 4 but they give you an extra one in case you wanted to tighten the fit here and plus when you run the wire down into the truck from here so you can cut three inches take three inches from this three inches from that 
I'm going to put the 16. I'm not going to remove the adhesive yet. I'm going to put the 16s in and see how I'm going to configure it and uh, figure it out from there. But again, you just pop this in. Hold on. I got it upside down. You just pop that in and then you pull that up and then it opens and you can run the wires down in there. So I'm planning how I'm going to use my extra adhesive. So I got the wires inside the tubing where the adhesive goes on. Now, you see these wires are loose and kind of all over the place. How am I going to tighten that up? First, I'm going to put a three inch, I'm going to cut a three inch of this tubing and put it there and go and do that. Three and a half inches actually. And put it right over here like the last one was. And then I'm going to think about then I'm going to think about tighten, tightening this up, so it won't be all wire, wire crazy. So here's the setup. So I'm going to cut three inches. I measure three inches, three and a half inches from here, and that's where I'm going to lead into the wiring. Let's go. So I decided to cut these three and a half inches here, two three and a half inches there, one three and a half inch there. Then I decide what's going to run the wire, what tube is going to run the wire to uh, the to truck. Let's go. So now I'm putting the gaskets in. You see that soft sponge? So what I did is I took it out of here and the sticky part, the sticky part goes inside so it sticks on here. The sticky part doesn't go in here, right? Then you can place this in. And then you have the screw end right, oh make sure you have that screw end. Okay, see that screw end right there? Make sure you have that lined up over here. So now I have gaskets on there and I can place them in and we'll go from there. So the bushings, here's your focus. The bushings are in and the bulbs are in. I didn't uh, adhesive, I didn't clamp down the adhesive where the wiring is yet. I want to get the bulbs in, then next get the lenses in. And once I got the lenses in, I'm comfortable how things are. And then I'm going to put down the adhesives. Okay, so look from the other side. See the bulbs in? Some LED action. <laughs> that bulb is in. Look at it. It's about to... It looks like it's going to be bright as heck when I hook up the electrical to it. See that bulb, bulb, bulb. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, the bulbs are in. So I'm going to put the lenses in and then drop down the adhesives and then it's, it's ready to go back into the truck, ready to go back to action, aka the last action hero. Anyway, those people who don't know my truck, I named it Action after my favorite action movie called The Last Action Hero, if you've seen it. Great movie. So on to the next. Now it's time to screw the bulbs in. Here goes the screws for the bulbs. When I say screw the bulbs in, screw that part in so the bulbs can be there nice and tight. See that uh, right there. So let's get to it. So quick note, you saw me put the bulbs in first, then the plan was to screw it in after I did that. But the better way to do it is put them both in at the same time. So, because you got to align that hole in there and you got to, to align it, you got to remove, you got to uninstall this, align it, then screw it in nice and slow, and then you get it in there nice and tight. So, the bolt, I mean, installing the bulbs and the screwing at the same time, don't install the bulb, then follow up with the screw, my, will be my advice. Okay, so uh, it's time to put the lenses on. Hopefully these uh the pre these holes that were here beforehand line up. They look like they line up, thank God, because the holes that were to attach the bulbs didn't some of them did most of them didn't line up, so I didn't want to drill any extra holes. I think the gasket and um the clip was enough to hold the bulbs down. So, more than enough actually. <laughs> so it would just be an extra precaution, and if they do ever pop out, I'll just, I'll, I'll screw them in. So I'm going to screw these in, and then we go to the next part. Okay, so the first one is in. I had to hold it down a little bit and 
push it in a little bit some but it's in so let's get the rest of them on here so the lenses are in all oh, what how many is this five, one, two, five. <laughs> I was gonna say four so all the lenses are in as you can see so we're ready to go to the next phase I'm gonna flip it around and then tag in the adhesive and then we should be good to go and so they're all in so the bulb the lenses all that good stuff is in ready for the next step I'm gonna peel off the adhesive tape and uh, get this on here so I got this so I took out the tape so now this is glued down to the lens visor I'm gonna do the rest so all the adhe uh, so all the adhesive is on this is how I configured it boom 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 that better be the driver's side <laughs> so this will shoot out to the driver's side right uh, can you get a I think it looks good I think I configured it pretty nicely I would have pushed this one out a little towards me a bit uh, but overall I really like how I configured it I think that works really well okay so the visor is all hooked up ready to go back in got the ladder so what I need to do though I need to silicone so water won't get in I need to silicone what I did is where the holes are I put a painting tape on it so it wouldn't in case it rained yesterday so I gotta remove this clean this off and then I'll be ready to go see also I gotta do is unplug the battery so don't forget so make sure you unplug the battery so this is what I'm gonna use a silicone silic clear silicone uh, where it says waterproof sealant so I'm just gonna put this on there and uh, See that the top there put that on there seal it up and then I'm ready to go okay so so I'm gonna drill a hole into the gutter I'm gonna use 1 8 drill bit then go up from there I think 1 8 can just squeeze those wires in but if I need um, if I need a larger one I'll just go larger so this is the driver's side it's the gutter right here I got to drill a hole to the gutter to run the wires down so that's next and I'm gonna measure where I'm gonna drill the hole how big I'm gonna drill it so I can fit the wires down there and run it through here and into the electrical box or the light control box switch if you will you see I got the uh, leopard skin you remember that movie Scarface when um, he went to go pick up um, Tony Montana went to go pick up his girlfriend and he, he he had a fresh Cadillac, but he had it was interior was all leopard skin, <laughs> and she was like, "I'm not getting in that." He said, "What you talking about? It's a Cadillac." <laughs> so I got so these are not leopard skin seats. This is just a blanket I put over put over the, the seats, by the way. But all right, I drilled a hole into the gutter, very small, one eighth, so it could just barely fit. See that? It could just barely fit. So the visor is back on, if you can see. So, here are the new lenses. And underneath, if you can see how I tube the wires. Keep them as neat. It's possible. I'm gonna put a hole in here, then feed this wire down, 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 down. <laughs> so there you have it, fellas. I ran the wire down here, the tubing, so it goes down here. I stopped it right here. Stop it here, go through here, and in there, and hook up the wiring behind here. So next step is I'm gonna remove the knobs. Hopefully. There's something in, uh, there's a tool in this Leatherman that can unhook the clips that are in there because I got to get in and push in the clip, then I can pull the knobs off. Maybe this little fella right here is going to work. 
So I removed the knobs so I can pull the dashboard out. But as you can see, you see this part right here? Hold on. See that metal part in there? It clips on. Hold on. That metal part right there clips on this metal piece right here. And you have to push it in. You have to push it inwards and then pull it out, right? So some brain surgeon, this metal part is missing from the windshield wiper one. So some brain surgeon decided to glue it on. So it made it even harder to remove. And now I got to get this glue out. You just replaced this part. Why in the hell are you going to try to glue it on together when you could just replace this? I'm pretty sure this is inexpensive. You could just grab it really quick. But yeah, but it's crazy, you know, so but I got it out. So now it's time to pull out the dash. So the dashboard is out. That's what you have. And uh, why? I guess it has its own independent power. Because why are all the lights on? <laughs> right. I have to figure that out. So I went ahead and removed these. I used a 17 millimeter. I pressed it up close and I, uh, I put WD-40, pressed it up close, screwed it to the left and it, get, it came out. So this is what we're looking at now. I couldn't find the wire and somatics to my particular truck, 1985 Ford Bronco XLT. So I went to garysgaragemahal.com and downloaded Ford wiring diagram somatics for 1980-1986 light trucks. The entire wiring of the complete truck, it's a good read. So I went to connector 701 headlamp switch. Then I took a picture of my headlamp switch. <laughs> And I determined that it was the brown wire that's connected to the headlamps. So that's what I'm going to splice it to. I was going to solder the wires together, but I'm using this um, connector splicer thingy. So, so you're going to put in on the inner hole the Lund visor positive wire. On the outer hole, the stock headlamp positive wire. Then this guillotine thing right here. You push it in and it connects the wires together. And this flap closes in. You push this flap to close it in and then you're all good. You can press this down with a, some type of wrench thingy, whatever. Press it down tight and then it's going to put the wires together. So I did a temporary hook. I hooked up the Lund visor wire to the brown cord and I hooked up the regular wire. I just grounded this one here. It's temporary until I see, I see if this works. Let's try it. And they work. Look at them. The lights are on. I'm in business, buddy. It works. The lights are on, as you can see. Oh, hell yeah. All of them, all five. One, two, three, four, five. All five are on and working. So quick note, the visor lights, they don't come on the same time the headlights come on. They come on like when I do the first pull and the side lights come on. That's when they come on, but I wanted them to come on the exact same time the headlights come on. And uh, I don't know, I, I got to check the wiring that I did. But that's why I didn't button everything up, so we'll see. I'll post that in the next video when I find out what, why that is. So we'll see.